Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner and welcome to the Watson Scott Test, a procedurally generated multi-choice multi-optional horror game that is designed to freak you the literal fuck out. Okay, let's just get right into it. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. Well, too bad for you, I don't have any fears. Well, not that I know of. Okay, fine, I slightly lied. I have a fear of heights. That's the only thing I have a fear of, really. So, um, carnival rides that involve going straight up into the air are a big no-no for me. I'll not be doing any of that shit. For each question, select a response which gives the best and most truthful answer. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certification or a certificate of participation. Yay! I love getting prizes for participation. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. Do you wish to continue? You know what anything can result in death, going outside can result in death. So, just gotta face your fears. Firstly, some calibration questions. Okay, go on. I'm waiting. How many minutes are there in one hour? Well, that's easy. 60. Although, I wonder what would happen if you give the wrong answer. If there are three oranges and I take away two, how many are left? Five, infinity, or one? Well, one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Are you playing a game right now? Ah, ah, see, see this, is, this is where it tries to mind f*** you. I'm gonna click no because life is no game. Are you sure it's not a game? Oh, I'm damn sure it's not a game. I take everything seriously. Calibration complete. Your test will now begin. Okay, bring it. It's raining outside and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. You feel... Oh god, that is... Oh, that is nasty. I don't like crushing any insects beneath my, my bare feet. In fact, I don't know why anyone would be out in the rain in their bare feet. That is nasty. You can get pneumonia from that. Oh, but stepping on a snail... Happy, guilty, jealous, disgusted, you know, definitely disgusted. Maybe a small bit guilty, but mostly disgusted. A small child is walking down the street with a large ice cream in her hand. She trips and falls. <laughs> Dropping her street on the ground. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's it's funny. It's funny when a anyone trips and falls, but uh, I suppose I'd have to feel sympathetic. Re really, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd feel a small bit amused, but 
mostly synthetic. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm going straight to hell. Your pet cat drops a dead mouse on your front doorstep. Its front legs are missing. You feel... You know what, this question is fairly relevant to me. Because I do have two pet cats. And the odd time they do drop the odd mouse at her front doorstep. Or sometimes it could be a bird. Or on the very rare occasion, a rat. Uh, you know what, I don't really feel proud, make, I don't really feel pleased, or sad, or worried, but it does make me feel disgusted from time to time. Because I'm the, I'm the one who ends up having to, you know, do the dirty deed and throw them away. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. Okay, that's good. Ooh, that's kind of spooky. Especially the grinning face. Mainly the grinning face. How did that image make you feel? Happy, afraid, sad, violent, nothing. You know, I'll have to go with nothing. They really make me feel happy, afraid, sad, or violent. I'd say, um, slightly perturbed, but that option isn't there. So we'll just go with nothing. Do you believe in ghosts? Hmm. You know, I'm kind of undecided, although I do have a slightly... I'm, I'm not sure if you'd call it a paranormal experience or not, but it, it is true. I was in this uh, fishing village uh, going back years ago in, in the arse end of um, Ireland. And you know, I was looking at this sort of uh, memorial where there was a list of people who were lost at sea. Anyway, I, t I turned around and there was somebody dressed, dressed up in a, sort of a sea captain's clothing. I forget what he said to me, I, I can't remember, th th this was a good few years ago. Either way, um, sparked up a bit of a conversation, then he took off into a pub. I went into the same pub shortly afterwards, and I didn't see this guy leave at all. In fact, I didn't e even see him in there. So I, I thought, Jesus Christ, where the hell did that guy go? In fact, why the hell is he dressed up in a sea captain's outfit? I mean, there's nobody dresses up like that anymore. I mean, we, there, there was no sort of naval vessels there or anything like that. Or big ships coming in because, you know, it's, it was a small fishing village. It was only a fishing village full of people who do the fishing, who sell fish and catch fish. So, uh, yeah, kind of undecided. Have you ever seen a ghost? Going back to that that little story there, I'd have to say I'm unsure because this pub has two exits, I forgot to mention. Maybe he went out the back. I'm not sure, but I didn't I definitely didn't see him in there uh, when I went into to that pub, so I'll have to say unsure. Thinking about the room you're in right now. Has anyone ever died here? Nope, not yet because it's my bedroom. Unless you count um, insects as uh, as people, then yes, but insects are in insects. Hmm. Quite unique answers so far. Thank okay, you, I'll take that as a compliment. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. When I'm staring at a screen, I completely forget about my surroundings. Uh, I'd, I'd have to say 
disagree. I'm pretty aware of my surroundings. You can't f with me that easily. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. Yeah, strongly disagree. As far as I know, there aren't any ghosts around here. But then again, I could be wrong. I'm open to having my mind changed. Other people would say that I'm a liar. I don't know what other people say about me. I hope they don't say I'm a liar. So I'd have to say, strongly disagree. How dare you? I mean, how dare anyone accuse me of being a liar? I'm often unaware of things that are right behind me. Oh, <laughs> oh no, this is getting spooky. Um, I'll, I'll have to say I agree. Depends if I have my face stuck in my phone, then yeah. I would be pretty unaware of who or what's behind me. Oh, I heard that knocking. It came from the left side of, of my fucking head headset. And my door is actually on the left inside of my room, but I know what my door sounds like. It doesn't sound like that. Anyway, there is an unexpected guest in my house. Not that I'm aware of. I have to disagree. No, strongly disagree. Nobody would know if I went missing. Hmm. You know what? That statement, um, you know, kind of rings true to um, to an extent. It, it depends how long I'm missing for, though. So it's kind of a catch-22 situation here. But I'll have to strongly disagree. It's not like I take long trips or go out on holidays. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. Yeah, I'll agree. Ooh, I'm hearing background noise. Correct. I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Here's one I just wrote. Roses are red. Silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. Yeah, no, no one's inside my house. Just me, myself, and I. Sorry, I'm a realist. I, I don't believe that my life is under imminent threat. Only 41% of participants typically reach this point in the examination. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? I like the, the 3D sound effects, but because I'm so familiar with my own house and the sounds that that I hear both inside and out, I know these are just sort of artificial. So they're not it's not gonna throw me off, but you know what? I do like that feature. Yes, we should continue. Oh god, that screaming is so freaky. <laughs> How far away is the closest police station? Okay, in terms of walking, it definitely would be more than a 15 minute walk. You don't really have a lot of police stations in the middle of the sticks. When you're home alone, do you lock your doors? Damn straight I do! I live in the middle of the countryside! 
<laughs> okay, now, now the sound effects are starting to freak me out a little bit. Compared to the average adult, how fast can you run? Oh, I'd say faster than average. I wouldn't run for long, though. Because I'm a tad bit unfit at the moment. How long can someone survive if you drill three evenly spaced holes? One quarter of an inch in diameter in the midpoint of their skull. You know what? I don't even want to know. Uh, that, that is something that has never crossed my mind. Why am I being asked this? I'm not a masochist. Wait. Am I thinking of the right word, masochist? No, probably not. Just not. Just making myself sound more stupid than I probably am. An attacker is holding a man at gunpoint 50 feet away and threatens to kill him if you move closer. You're armed with a single shot muzzle loading percussion cap pistol, which is not accurate enough to hit the attacker from where you are standing. Do you take the shot anyway? Put your gun down and attempt to negotiate. Do nothing but wait. Scream passengers from... Uh, what? Scream passengers from Ruddyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, beginning with the phrase, Death in the garden lies dead. Then shoot yourself in the head. You know what? I'm going to choose this answer because it's really interesting. Even though it makes no sense to me whatsoever, I'm just going to choose it just for shits and giggles. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not speak. Oh, sorry. So if the image will not speak, it'll probably just roar, shout, or scream bloody murder. I'm waiting for you. Eh, a little spooky. How did that image make you feel? Again, nothing. Im images don't really frighten me. I'll be... Blatantly honest. I'm just so desensitized to that type of material. I'll ask this one more time. Are you playing a game right now? No, I'm standing by what I said before. No. Do you know that I'm a good person? I thought you were asking questions about me, not about yourself. Besides, I don't think somebody asking such screwed up questions can be a good person. Are you lying to me right now? Nope, just being honest. Lying is forbidden. Oh, please, what are you going to do about it, boy? Please select any of the following sports. Whoa! Okay, that did. Okay. It got me a little. Just a little. Okay. Please select any of the following sports that you've played. Wrestling, Jiu-Jitsu, Mixed Martial Arts, Taekwondo, none of the above. I did karate before. But that's not an option. Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. Law enforcement, private security detail, mercenary, military, none of the above. Ah, I see what you're trying to do. 
Trying to see if I've any combat experience, really. Uh, well, I do, kind of, but that may involve getting my ass kicked. Do you trust me to do the right thing? Ah. You know what? I gotta give you a chance at some point. Maybe, maybe you will do the right thing. Who knows? Everybody deserves a chance. Choose the word that is most similar to appropriate. Murder, baby, death, innocent, abyss. Hmm. That depends on what you mean by similar. I would say death, to be honest. I mean, if you had to string the two words appropriate and death in a sentence, it, they would just uh, go together like Nutella and a sandwich. I could really go for a Nutella sandwich right now. Your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a fight or flight response and may be at risk of an, an acute stressed reaction. I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Press continue when you're calm. Only when you're calm. Bitch, I am as calm and cool and collected as a cucumber. Well, as collected as a cucumber can be, depending on whether or not that cucumber is sliced. God damn, I mean, this test is making me hungry. Come on. You know, well, I love cucumbers. It's my favorite type of vegetable or fruit, salad, whatever. It's, it's, it's a vegetable. I, I, I love me my vegetables. Kind of. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Yep, looking at my door, it's not that far away. By the way, my room is pretty dark at the moment. I have my curtains closed. It's... Uh, I have no idea what time it is. It's uh, about 7 o'clock, I believe. I could be wrong. I have no concept of time these days. But it is pretty dark. So I might get the spooks scared out of me. Did you look away from your screen? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just because I'm childish, I'll choose this answer. <laughs> Excellent choice. <laughs> Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? Yes, 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 maybe. The answer would definitely be no, because I don't have any type of camera attached to my computer. Although, ideally, for this situation, I should. It would be good to have a face cam. I mean, I do have um, a cheap little Microsoft Life HD camera, but that the quality on it isn't, isn't good. Do you feel safe in your house right now? Unsure. I mean, I do feel pretty safe. Are you having fun? Oh, damn skippy I am. I... What? What was that? No. When I'm editing this video, I'll, I'll have to go back and, and check out all, all, all that text because I notice it's skipping a lot and sort of um, displaying hidden messages. Please ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on the screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Yes, I do indeed. Liar. Do you understand? Yes. Don't move or you may die. Music can help us all relax. Singing is relaxing. What? Up and down the city road, in and out the eagle. That's what. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chases. 
Pop goes, I can't keep up, dude. Up and down the city road in now the eagle that's why the money goes. Pop goes a weasel, pop goes a weasel, pop goes a weasel, pop goes a weasel. Every now and then I go out the monkeys on the table. Take a stick, knock it off, pop goes a weasel, pop goes a weasel, pop goes a weasel. <laughs> All around the mother. <laughs> oh god, I don't like this. Good thing that my headset is kind of budget. Complete. <laughs> Thank you for participating. Your results are being processed. I'll be honest, that didn't really take me by surprise. Slightly, slightly startled me, but um, or other than that, it wasn't really scary. It's uh, a jump scare. I was. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, that. I was not prepared for. Oh. Jeez, just when you think you're safe. I survived the Watson Scott test. I lasted 31 minutes and 21 seconds. My analysis. Sleep soundly. Compulsive liar has difficulty remembering names. Yep. True. That is true. I, I, I won't lie. Oh, and it automatically screenshotted itself. That's um, unsettling. When I see a cat holding a dead mouse, I feel disgusted. I'm mostly afraid of falling from an unsteady balcony. Oh, what the hell? Did... Was this game listening to me? Is my voice actually being recorded or, or something? Because I, I did say at the start that I do have a fear of heights. Hmm... Yeah, uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm done. No, stop psychoanalyzing me. This is just too freaky, dude. The main test is complete. There is a bonus test available. Would you like to take it? Okay, not now. Maybe another time. You know, I, I've had an, enough, uh, enough of this game psychoanalyzing me. To, Trying to figure out what type of person I am. Just generally trying to freak me out. No, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'll be waiting. Goodbye. Oh, and it brought me back to my uh, Steam library. Well, there isn't really any personal information about me here other than my little avatar. Has a nice picture of me, but you can't really make it out. Ooh. Anyway, that was a freaky little experience. Mm, I didn't fright find it too frightening, but the second jump scare at, at the end, now that was unexpected. Now, I will admit, I had mentally prepared myself uh, for a jump scare, because I knew it was coming at some point in the game. These games are kind of jump scare fodder, but you know what, this game did, did it right. Two consecutive jump scares. Well, the second one was totally un unexpected. The, the first one was just kind of like um, a bluff of sorts. But uh, yeah, I will be, be coming back to it at some point. I will do a part two, d depending on how, how this part does in, time, in terms of views. But yeah, it was a nifty little horror game for... How much did I pay for? Four euro. Four euro. What's that in dollars? What's that in any other currency? I, I have no idea. I do not do the good currency conversions in my head. Unless I have a calculator or, of course, Google to help me out. But enough rambling, guys. You know what to do if you did like this video. Be sure to comment, rate, share, and most importantly, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.